Hi everyone, thank you for joining my session with NewMR today. I'm Alex, I'm the founder and chief of growth at Uscan. In this webinar, we'll be discussing generative AI for social listening. Just a couple of months ago, we released Insights Copilot. It's uh, an AI chatbot for qualitative research, which uses the latest large language models like ChatGPT to help make research with social data easier and faster. I will share with you the details about how it works, its capabilities and limitations, and also will show you real usage examples, which I think is the most exciting part. I hope it will be really interesting, so let's get started. First, a few words about Uscan. We are a social listening tool that uses AI to help market research professionals get consumer insights from social media data. For those of you who may be not so familiar with social listening tools, in a nutshell, uh, it works. It works like that. Um, first, you set up your data collection rules. For example, keywords like brand or product or product category names or any other search terms related to your research needs. In Uscan, data collection rules can contain not only keywords, but also image attributes. For example, brand logos, if you want to collect and analyze images from social media that are associated with the brand or its products. Next, the social listening tool will start collecting data for you, real time or historical data, or both, depending on your goals, and it will apply AI to clean, structure, and automatically uh, analyze collected texts and images. Within the platform, you have access to the dashboards where you can slice and dice the data as you need, visualize it, analyze it, share findings with your team, and so on. Uh, speaking of data sources, you scan covers popular social networks such as Twitter. Sorry, I still can't get used to its new X name, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Reddit, LinkedIn. We also collect data from blogs, forums, and product reviews uh, from sites like Amazon and others. At Uscan, we are honored to work with some of the world's leading brands and agencies. They share consistently positive feedback about their experience with Uscan on software review sites like G2 and Based on that feedback, G2 recently called us a leader among social media intelligence tools. We also have great recommendations from industry analysts such as Gartner and others. Now, I'm sure as uh, market research professionals, many of you know and understand uh, that social media data can be a really great source of consumer insights. You can conduct research with uh, social intelligence tools like Uscan and others in a, in an ad hoc and agile fashion. You have access to real time unfiltered consumer opinions about pretty much any topic that they share every day, uh, on social media. Um, that's why social media is sometimes called the biggest focus group in the world. Uh, we like to say that social listening helps you fully understand consumers by providing real-time insights into what they say with text analysis that uncover consumer sentiments and attitudes towards brands or other topics, what they do with social image analysis that show how people interact with brands and products in real life, and who they are uh, with audience insights that help understand the demographics, interests, and occupations of people discussing brands um, and other topics on social media. But it's also fair to say that uh, market and consumer research with social data comes with its own challenges. Uh, social data is noisy, it's very fuzzy and it's nuanced. It comes in different forms and media flavors. For example, TikTok video and Instagram image and tweet uh, and the product review on Amazon all have different formats, right? So extracting insights from this data is not always easy. It requires you to be an experienced user of social listening tools, 
know the features and capabilities very well. Uh, in other words, you have to be a practitioner. And even if you are, research with social data can be time consuming. You have a lot of reports, word clouds, charts, graphs in your social listening tool, but pinpointing reliable, actionable insights, even with AI assisted tools like your scan, has never been super easy. And this sort of limited uh, the adoption of social intelligence in research world. Now, uh, when ChatGPT got released by OpenAI last year, we started experimenting with its abilities uh, to synthesize insights from social data. This, this is a post on LinkedIn that I posted eight months ago. Um, I shared my experience about how well uh, ChatGPT summarized a large amount of posts from Reddit that I fed it with uh, about specific brand. At first glance, it really did a good job summarizing findings from those hundreds of posts, and I was frankly super impressed. But of course, uh, there was no way to verify GPT's answers and make sure it's not making things up uh, and it's not hallucinating. Still, this user experience of being able to effortlessly uh, get insights from social data felt to me like a game changer. And so we decided to build on top of this new AI chatbot paradigm and implement a similar user experience right in our social listening platform. We released Insights Copilot this April. Uh, Insights Copilot is a chatbot that lives within our platform's interface. It has access to real-time social data that you can collect and what's most interesting, it can uh, not only summarize the data for you, but you can ask it anything in natural language. Ask it anything about your social listening data. For example, what do people say about our new product? What do customers love about the competitor's customer service? Uh, what are the customer personas that mention competitor's product on social media? What are the topics often mentioned with our brand? And so on and so forth, depending on your research needs. I have recorded a screencast to show you how it actually works. Uh, let's get straight to the demo. OK, here we are in the Uscan user interface, specifically in a social mention stream related to Peloton brand that I'm using as an example here. Uh, Peloton is a popular home exercise equipment brand. Many of you know they produce stationary bicycles, treadmills, and so on. Uh, posts here either mention Peloton in the text or contain photos with brand logo. And for popular brands, the volume of mentions can be really huge. For example, for brands like Coca-Cola, there are millions of mentions monthly on social media. In this data set, there are almost uh, 150,000 mentions of Peloton for a given month. As an analyst, you can sort this data by different criteria, for example, by recents or engagement of posts, like number of likes, comments, shares. You can filter posts by location, sentiment, audience demographics, and so on and so forth. Insights Copilot lives on the right side of this mention stream. First, notice um, uh, some predefined questions that we've built in based on the most popular among our customers use cases for social data analysis. Uh, you can essentially just click a button and ask the copilot to summarize user opinions for you or identify the most common pain points and complaints that users mention on social media, uh, retrieve influencers' opinions, ask it to find you. Uh, the most interesting insights, and more. Um, as a first use case, let's ask the compiler to summarize customer pain points. Uh, first, please uh, note that Uscan has applied some filters to the data, specifically filter for negative sentiment and uh, some other predefined categories uh, of posts. 
uh, that you scan already identified in this data set. Uh, this is done uh, to make sure that we pass the most relevant and pre-filtered data to our chatbot for analysis. Now, our goal is to provide users with reliable insights. And in a few seconds, uh, Copilot answers uh, and provides an answer to this question. You can see the list of uh, consumer complaints regarding Peloton. Well, these answers look solid at first glance. But how do you know that they are true? For example, recall is mentioned, high cost and perceived lack of value, poor customer service, and so on and so forth. Um, how do you know that all of this is true? Uh, we already learned that chatbots are notoriously making things up in their answers and hallucinating um, with ChatGPT, with Google Bards. This is a common issue. So how can we as researchers be sure that the answers that the copilot provided uh, us are based on the real data? So in order to make the copilot trustworthy, we've added a feature that lets you see the supporting data points uh, by clicking on examples. Let's see how it works. So I clicked on the examples for safety concerns. And as you can see, these are the posts that mention the specific issue. You can read them and verify the answer. Um, let's see examples of posts that mention poor customer service. Here they are. So this way you can be sure that the answers that the copilot provided you are based on actual data. Now, an even more interesting feature of the Insights Copilot is that you can ask it anything. In the next example, I asked it to identify key customer personas that discuss Peloton brand on social media. Uh, let's look. I enter my question and in less than 30 seconds, I got a comprehensively looking list that tells me that the key customer personas that discuss Peloton are fitness and wellness enthusiasts, hotel guests, athletic and fitness focused customers, Peloton bike owners, and so on. Personally, I'm super excited about this. Um, just imagine how much time would you spend analyzing all those thousands of posts to get to such a list. With Insights Copilot, you can get this information almost instantly. And again, you can check the answers by looking at the underlying examples. In the third and the last part of my video, I'll show you one more use case, which is a trend analysis. We are looking at Uscan's dashboard with analytics related to Cabify brand, which is a popular ride sharing service in Latin America. I've chosen this topic because most of the data here is in Spanish, which I don't know, but the copilot will hopefully help me make sense of it. Uh, on this chart that shows the volume of mentions over time, you can see the bubbles, which represent emerging trends in the discussions that you scan identified. Uh, trends usually represent uh, the large and growing volume of posts on a specific day that can be related to some event, some hot discussion, or a thread with a large amount of comments and so on. Uh, they can have different colors depending on prevailing sentiment, positive, negative, or neutral. And here I've chosen a trend that apparently generated a lot of buzz on social media, and I'm curious to learn uh, what it is about. I will click on this uh, blue bubble and drill down to the mention stream, uh, which shows all the posts that are a part uh, of this trend. They are all in Spanish. I can use uh, built-in 
translation button on each post, but uh, that would require me to read them all. And I um, don't want to do that. There are uh, hundreds of posts. Instead, let's wait for Insights Copilot answer that will explain uh, what is this trend about. I can immediately see that this trend is about a specific moment in a football game between uh, popular football teams. And um, it explains me all the cultural nuances uh, and uh, that uh, the goalkeeper's performance uh, was uh, not so great in this game. And um, it's related to the sponsorship deal between uh, the team and uh, the Cabify brand in this case. So I have all the information I need here to understand uh, what is this trend about. Imagine you're working on a research project that involves analysis of user opinions across multiple markets in multiple languages. As you can see, it becomes so much easier with Insights Copilot uh, built-in translation capabilities and its ability to explain what's behind the trending discussions, no matter where they are happening. A few words about Copilot's architecture. Under the hood, we use ChatGPT and GPT-4 APIs. Because it's not practical to use GPT to analyze all the noisy social data, we optimize the data that Copilot processes for fast response times and cost effectiveness. As you have seen in the demo, we apply Uscan's AI content filters depending on the user's question uh, to choose the most appropriate data that we send to the chatbot for analysis. And finally, before presenting answers to the user, we double check the references and show only answers that have reliable examples to support them. Insights Copilot supports 90 languages, and we've also made sure it is honest about uh, insufficient data. Uh, if the data is not sufficient to provide an answer, in that case, it will simply tell uh, that it doesn't have enough data to answer your research question. As any new AI tool, Copilot also has its limitations, and we are very upfront about them. Uh, first, each question that you ask it is treated as a new one. Um, Copilot works with sampled data. It works best for qualitative questions and not so great right now for quantitative ones, but we are working on improving that. And it works with text data only, so you can't ask it to analyze images yet. For that, we have um, dedicated um, uh, analytics section in our platform, but uh, soon you'll be able to ask questions about images uh, in natural language as well. In the few months since we've released the Copilot, we got a lot of feedback from users, including cases where it didn't work as expected, and we are using this information to improve the Copilot. Our users are also sharing a lot of interesting usage examples. Feel free to search on LinkedIn uh, for Insights Copilot hashtag and read them. For example, Xavier, uh, who's a social intelligence expert, did a research about the perception of EV batteries in Europe using the Copilot. Kim Townend uh, was impressed how Copilot helps identify topics mentioned together with the brand. Ginevra used it to create content plan in seconds, and there is more. And the last example I wanted to share, you all know about the Twitter's rebrand to X. So we wanted to do a quick research and ask the Copilot a couple of questions about users' attitudes to the new logo. What do they say about the old one, the Bluebird, and if users are planning on leaving the platform because of the rebranding? I'll give you a few seconds to read some of the Copilot's answers. Thank you very much for your attention. If you'd like to learn more about the Insights Copilot, please check the insightscopilot.com. And I also want to personally invite you to try it for yourself. 
feel free to request a free trial and we'll be happy to share it with you so you'll be able to play with the copilot and maybe even do a small research project using Insights Copilot. Thank you very much.